When I think of women in my past who were black book quality, Regan Madsen from my Pandora case always comes to mind. Well, I suppose you've already sat in my chair and I've eaten my porridge, too. It took you long enough. I thought I was going to have to start in by myself. I hope you don't mind I made myself comfortable. Mm. And I'm very comfortable. Yeah. You look it. How long does it take you to smoke that cigarette? Oh, you'd be surprised. Vicious, mean, nasty, and rotten to the core. And I still think fondly of her almost every day. Maybe I should go get checked out at a medical clinic for reasons other than my head injury. Where did I get this kind of money? Did I really turn into a gun-for-hire mercenary that everybody's afraid of? There's something about this setup that just feels wrong. Like advanced mind manipulation. This place is littered with items to make you think you're someone you're not. We already know they injected you with a trance inducer. They're pulling the strings to deceive you into doing something for them. Archie's back in town. I should check out his three carts to midnight shop and see if he knows anything. Archie Ellis is my herbal tea loving, source for all things alien supernatural conspiracy theorist. Or he's just plain crazy. He ran into some trouble with the NSA on my last case. Last I knew, he was hiding out in some tropical locale with a bevy of beauties. I'm surprised he's back in town. Hey, Murphy, how you doing? You, you okay? I heard you were having some kind of amnesia. You, you know, most alien abductees always have some sort of memory loss. <laughs> Are you still into that alien thing, Archie? I mean, isn't that just a little passe? The truth never goes out of style, my friend. Now, I heard something about an injection and a, and a head wound. <gasps> Yowza! You really back off, man, because I swear I will shoot the next person who tries to touch this, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Ouch. Ooh. So, I guess you do need some catching up then. A few months ago, I moved back here from the islands and I opened up this place. And I was hoping that you and I could hang out together like old times, but you haven't been around much. So I haven't come by with the traditional welcome back fruit basket? I have turned into a bastard. Sounded like the same Murph to me making jokes and putting your cigarette out in my herbal tea before I'm done with it. Yeah, you're never gonna let me forget that one, are you? So we talked recently. Not yet, but you know I'm always ready to be Robin to your Batman. <laughs> uh, without the homoerotic undertones, of course. Sorry, Arch, but it's a package deal. If you're gonna be in this with me, you're gonna have to be in all the way. <laughs> you, you, you had me going there, Murph. <laughs> okay, Boy Wonder, I need you to enter two names into the Bat computer. Mason Bowers, Margaret Leonard. Well, I don't know about Mason Bowers, but Margaret Leonard? 
She's connected to one of the greatest mysteries of all time. I mean, you know who uh, Nikola Tesla was, right? Nikola. The cough drop? Nikola Tesla was a genius. Probably one of the greatest geniuses ever. I mean, it was Tesla, not Marconi, who was the true inventor of the radio. He invented a, a Tesla coil, the AC electricity, remote control. He even pioneered cryogenics. So are you almost to the part about Margaret Leonard? Right. Well, a Tesla died in 1943 when the FBI uh, just swooped in and confiscated all his papers and designs. Then in about 2012, all this stuff, the, the Tesla cash just disappeared. <laughs> And you want to know who the number one suspect was? Margaret Leonard. No, an FBI agent named Charles Johansson. Now, I know they could never prove that he did it, but then he quits the FBI and joins some Tesla fanatic group called the Tesla Legacy Society, a group dedicated to making the world better through technology. And that's where he meets... Margaret Leonard. Bingo! <laughs> they fall in love, they get married, I think they even had a kid together. So where's Margaret now? Uh, not a clue. Johansson uh, died a couple years later, cancer, I think. And after that, Margaret just dropped out of circulation. So all this happened, what, 30, 37 years ago? I mean, no one's found the Tesla cash since then? It's one of the great mysteries, the lost inventions of Nikola Tesla. What's the big deal with the Tesla inventions? I mean, there must be some reason they were never made. Oh, you ever hear of a little thing called Tunguska? <sighs> Have I ever. Picked up a bad case when I was down in Mexico. It's where I learned the phrase, Baños, rapidos, andale muchachos, vamonos! Oh, oh, Murph, you're too funny. You know, in 1890s, Tesla conducted an experiment and created a resonance frequency. You know, like a big vibration, and it nearly took out a whole chunk of New York City. And then in the 1900s, he began to work on what he called a teleforce beam. The, the, the press called it, you know, a death ray, you know, cooler name. But a few years later in Russia, remote area called Tunguska, something caused in an explosion a thousand times greater than the atomic bomb. A thousand times greater than the atomic bomb 40 years before we invented it? But that was the last anyone ever heard of the death ray. Tesla never got funding. Instead, they made him out to be some crackpot, and he was broke for the rest of his life. Some people think the plans for it were part of the Tesla cash. Just think how much someone would pay to get their hands on that. The Tesla cash is right up there for me. Oh, oh and the death ray? Well, the name says it all, doesn't it? I've been checking my sources, but no one's heard a thing about her in years. As I leave, Archie hands me an old photograph of Margaret Leonard. Maybe someone else on Chandler will recognize her from the picture. If you were looking for me earlier, I wasn't here. Well, at least you're here more than Nilo used to be. <laughs> and I spend a lot less time in the can. You recognize the woman in this photo? Oh, nice. I think I saw her in a playbook from 1996. Is this your girlfriend? Not yet, but I'd like to take her out for dinner and drinks, and well, then we'd go from there. <laughs> I'm just kidding about this woman being your girlfriend. She's actually mine. No, I'm kidding again. This is Margaret Leonard. She's had a room here at the Ritz forever. She used to live here, but I haven't seen her in years. So, she may not be here anymore, but she auto-pays her rent. So it's all good. Any chance you can get me into her apartment? <laughs> not a chance in hell. I let her install her own security system, just like you, except hers is a real one. I can't tell you which apartment it is, but... You won't get in without a passcode or a personal invitation. Maybe I can try to help you with something else. I 
I've been thinking, Murphy, uh, perhaps I should confide something to you. Oh, this should be good. Well, it, you believe Maldonado is spying on you, but it could have been someone else. Uh, not Margaret Leonard, by any chance. How did you know? Do the words P.I. mean anything to you? Margaret may be in grave danger. I, I've tried to contact her, but to no avail. Gosh, if only we knew someone with some detective skills. Do you know how to get into her apartment? No, but she may have left a clue. Some time ago, she left this in my care. It's, it's for you. For me? She wanted you to have it in case anything happened. doesn't look good. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. What's this? The dream that Charles and I shared has become a nightmare. I wanted to believe, so it is easy to deceive myself and to know that I have helped to bring it to pass is more than I can bear. I gave them everything, except for the key to it all. I must find the egg before they do. I have long suspected that Tex is a vital piece to the puzzle. His connection to Donnelly preceded the neural experiments. His coming to Chandler Avenue, a, a norm among mutants, to the Ritz, and even into Donnelly's same apartment. That was not coincidence. Was it fate, fate, or something else that drew Tex here? It was right here all the time. Under our noses, Tex has found the Tesla egg. Mason believes Tex is with us and will help us against the translator. But I have my suspicions. I think we need to get the egg away from from from. I wish I had the courage to destroy the egg. I just can't let go of hope. Poop, poop. With the egg gone, the threat would likely be eliminated, but so would the glorious future we envisioned. I want to try one more time, and until I know one way or the other, I'm entrusting the egg to the only person I know who would die to defend it. The one who prays. I was working with Margaret Leonard and Mason Bowers in neural experiments? What's my connection with J.T. Donnelly and the egg found in my wall? Why would she steal it from me and entrust it to someone else? The one who prays.
It's a picture of someone named Mantis. As I walk in the bathroom, I realize there's something wrong here. Something terribly wrong. Thank you.